Hi, this is Sherry Traxler with Vireo Life, author of Go Forward, 28 Days to Eat, Move, and Enjoy Life God's Way. You have control over three things, what you think, what you say, and how you behave. These are the tools that shape your life. Sonia Friedman, author, and I could not agree more. But the question then becomes, what shape do you want your life to be? What form do you want your life to take? And that's in every area as we think about it and all the areas are interconnected. What do you want your work to look like? What work do you want to do? What relationships do you want to have and how do you want those relationships to be and to interact? How do you want your health and your health habits to be? Describing those things in detail. And then why are those things even important to you? And I've got another video I'll link on the question of why uh, and answering that purpose question. As you think about what you want your life to be, we begin to say, what do we want to think? What do we want to say? And what do we want to do to get us there? And we know that the best way to get there is to act as though there is already here. So if we tell ourselves, oh, someday I'll act like that. Someday I'll think that way. When I get there, that's when I'll start thinking that way. Nope. We have to start thinking that way right now. We have to start saying those things and acting that way right now. So that's what I want us to take a moment to do. So think about first what life you want to create. And that's going to take longer than just this couple of minutes that we have together in this video. Take some time and journal what you want your life to look like in all those areas and why you want it that way. Then answer these three questions. What thoughts will you think when you're there? What conversations will you be having when you're in that place and living that way? And what will you be doing when you're in that place and living that way? And now we're going to back it up and implement those things here and now. Let me give you an example because I have been taking myself through this personal journey on to my next level, where do I want to be, who do I want to be, and I have to go through this exercise of when I get there, what are my thoughts, what are my conversations, what are my actions, and then begin implementing them. So I'm going to pull out my journal and share with you a little bit of what I would be thinking. Um, I would be thinking how can I live even bigger? What other adventures do I want? How can I be even closer to God? How can I live even more mindfully, more intuitively, more healthy, more present, more engaged? Because frankly, that is something I struggle with right now. So it's like, okay, if I want that then, what will I be thinking then? Well, if I'm already there, what I'm thinking is from that place of abundance, how can I live that even more? Um, oh, this was a good one. What I'll be thinking then. Oh, I am so grateful for the people who connect with me, who support me, who encourage me, and who believe in me. All right. How can I live even more carefree and confident? How can I teach others not to care what other people think? How can I care even less what people think? Another thought process I would be having is, I can do this. God made me capable in him. Waking up in the morning thinking, God wants to love on me and through me today. Then this was a really fun one of what I would be thinking when I, I, was, I was journaling this next part at night and I was sleepy earlier than what I normally would be. And I was beginning to kick myself that, oh, I'm sleepy. I'm tired. I'm not going to get as much done as what I wanted to get done. And somehow I started feeling guilty about being sleepy because... It was guilt about not getting these things done. And I thought, wait a minute, Sherry, if you were living in that place that you're dreaming of, what would be your thoughts about being sleepy right now? Because you're going to get sleepy and you're sometimes going to get sleepy before your normal bedtime. So my thought was, oh, what a productive, engaged week. I'm sleepy. What would nurture me most? 
It's 740. I think I'll go ahead and get ready for bed and catch up on some sleep. Completely relaxed me, took all the pressure off, and I thought that is how I want to be. So if you think about your thoughts in that place, that dream of life that you're wanting to live, begin to make yourself and train yourself to think that way. Now, second is what conversations would you be having? What would you be saying to yourself? What would you be saying to other people? Who would you be having those conversations with? Are there people in your life right now that in that place, you wouldn't even be having conversations with them? So why are we having conversations with them right now? And then the third item is how would we behave? What would we be doing? If part of the dream is being someone who exercises on a regular basis, what would that person be doing? Even on a day that they can't get a full workout in, they're going to get something in. If that is a person that eats well and that you picture yourself having vegetables at dinner and uh, a balanced plate, a powerful plate, and I'll link that uh, here as well, then even if you on a day-to-day -day basis now don't implement all of that, what would that person in your future be doing? They would be going by the grocery store. They would be making time to make out a menu plan. They would be making time, even if it's 10 or 15 minutes, to cook every couple of nights. Picture yourself then and ask yourself, what would I be doing? One of the quotes, and this is my quote, it's something that I have in a, how do I put this? I have a life manual that from the time I was in my 20s, uh, I started gathering uh, ideas and goals and dreams and writing them down. And uh, so now I almost have this life manual that every week or two I go through and that's how I do my planning for the week. Well, in one of this, uh, one of the areas, I have a section called Consciously Engaged, and you're welcome to blow this up if you want to. Um, but under consciously engaged, there's something that relates to this, and it hits me every time that I read it. I act in line with who I want to be, because how I consistently behave is who I really am. Behaving one way and thinking I am something else or wanting to be something else is lying to myself. So I will leave you with that, and if you would like a copy. I've got this in a really pretty blow-up um, picture. If you, if you would like a copy of that, let me know, and I'll, I'll send that to you if that spoke to you. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, find your path and fulfill your potential.